Hi guys, welcome back to this other fashion. Hope you have found that today. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut this lovely dress, and I'll be combining two fabric together. This is going for the upper part, which is going to be the lace, and the down part is the ankara. The upper part, which is going to be the lace, is going for the yoke and the sleeve, the way it is on the picture. So the first thing I'll be cutting out here is going to be the down part. So I'll be folding the anchor into four now because we are cutting for both back and front together. You understand? So the first thing is to fold it into two like this. You can see, then into four equally. So after folding it into four like this, the next thing I'll be taking is the measurement. As you know, this is going for the upper part. So I will be leaving five inches up for the yoke five inches for the yoke as you can see so from this five inches i'll not be taking the necessary measurements so leaving five inches then i'll make use of half inch to make it 5.5 so the half inch is going for the ammo so that is the remaining inch for the ammo then i'll now go ahead and take my bust measurement I'm making it of 26 inches that is 6.5 inches that's 26 inches you can see then we see my allowance of one inch one inch then I'm going to connect it like this you just have a little ammo so by the time you join your yoke to it it's going to give you the full ammo as you can see so after this now i will now still take the five inches up i'll still take the five inches up to take the full length of the dress the full length of the dress first so the full length we are we need here is 28 inches with the same allowance i'll be making is uh, 29 and here is 29. so this is where we are coming to as you can see so after that after this point now i'll now go ahead and take the waist measurement you can see our five inches is still there don't take out your table so you can determine your waist so here is our waist measurement you can see our waist measurement is that 10 inches 10 inches then i'll not take the e point the e point is um six inches six inches then i'll take the waist measurement to be six inches so in order to get 24 inches for the waist the waist measurement here is 24 you know six in four places is going to give us 24 so with a seam allowance of you can add a seam allowance of one inch while making it a 1.5 inches here so i'll now come down to the do the hip measurement and i will take the hip measurements to be 28 that's seven in four places then with the same allowance of one and a half inches then i'll connect everything together you can see then from here if you don't want the leg to be tied the way it is on the on this tie the main tie is what you take at the hip that you're going to take down the same measurement just like a straight line down to the full length you understand or better still take it here what you're having here with the same allowance then you take exact measurement at the knee side or at the or at where you want your your dress to reach you can see so i'll bring it here also the same measurement so as to have a straight line you can see i don't know it's when I took the same measurement, I'm having a straight line now. So if I want to cut it now, I can go ahead and cut it. But this particular one, I'm not going to cut it to be a fitted. I want my own to be an A line. You understand? It's from an A line that is coming from the bust. When you have a bust measurement, then you slant it down to the full length. That's what I want it to be. But the, the particular one on this on the thumbnail, this is how you're going to sketch it. So you can see now i'm starting from the ammo then to the bust from the bust i'm slanting it down to the full length 
of the dress you can see so you can as well make this tie if you'd like you can as well cut it cut out the fitted one but this is an a-line one that i'm cutting out so you can see now so after cutting this out now the next thing we're going to cut out here is the um yoke you can see the little hammer we are having you can see we didn't come into the waist we only slant it out to the full length of the dress so let me cut out the yoke for you so as to join into the damper to make a complete dress so i'm making use of this like i said earlier to cut out the yoke i'll be folding this into two first into two first i can cut it once i can cut it separately so you can see now this is into two first because i want to cut out the front first before using the front to cut out the back so i'm taking the shoulder measurements to be five you can see the shoulder slant to be one inch you can see from here i'm slanting it up to the center of both back and front like this you can see then this is going to be a straight cut down to the full length you can see you can also take the five inches here just to give you the perfect straight line so you can see then i'll connect it together so let me take it at the middle as well you can see they'll connect everything together so i cannot cut it out so this is from the center of the front to so the slant shoulder you can see the shoulder slant of one inch then down to the length of the yoke so you can see then i cannot take my my neckline so i'll be making use of um 2.5 inches for the deepness of the neckline deepness 2.5 inches then the wideness also the wideness of the neckline is also going to be 2.5 inches this is the front only then i'm going to connect it together i will now cut it out so after cutting this out now you can see after cutting it i can see this is the front yoke i will now use this to cut out the back leaving the buttons allowance the button allowance at the back or you can as well make use of um zip so this particular one cannot cut it so i can only use this to cut a single side of the back then i'll now cut the other side so you can see i've left some inches for the button allowance because i'm adding buttons to my i'm not making use of zip so you can see now you can see but the deepness of the back neckline it won't be the same as the front neckline you know the way you normally do it and it in some um in some size the back might be deeper than the front it depends on the style you are cutting but for this particular one the front neckline will be deeper than the back neckline so i only use one inch then i connect it by cutting it you can see what we are having at the back now so i'm going to use this single the this one to cut out the other side of the back so this remaining one is going for the sleeve the mini fabric is going for the sleeves i'm going to fold it out like 90 degree flay like an a line you can also call it a line sleeve yes just to bring it out that small flay you can see do i slant it do i slant the folding you can see it's not equal then i'll now go ahead and take my my length of sleeve which is this particular one i'm using the length it's the length is there already then i'm going to start from here by taking the ammo measurement that's the ammo measurement i'm making use of uh this is um five inches five inches then i'll cut it straight i'll make it straight a straight cut then the length here is just four the length here is also is equal i will now cut it out Then from here, I will slant it like this. Then like this. You can see the way I'm cutting it. So this is how to cut that shape of sleeve on the dress. You can see it now. 
so that area is folded i have to divide it into two so you can see what we're having here yes we're still going to deduce our ammo from this particular sleeve so let me cut it out first so this is how it's going to look like so let me deduce the ammo and see it properly so i will now go ahead now and take the wideness of these sleeves i'm making it of two inches then here i'm going to make it of let me see 1.5 inches then i'm going to connect this square just to deduce my ammo out because i'm still going to join this ammo at the ammo of the you know we have just half inch for the ammo on the main dress and it has an opening at the shoulder at the at the shoulder you understand it has an opening at the shoulder so that's why you didn't need much ammo on the sleeve so we are done with the cuttings this is the sleeve here is the body this is the yoke so let me go and join everything together and show you the finishings yeah the finish works so far this is the dress you can see this is the opening at the sleeve side here is the uh, neckline this is the other sleeve too you can see the body you can see how beautiful this turns out you can see the neckline so i've added my buttons to the neckline i can see this is the back i can see the button as well here's the button you can see you can see the slit the slit is not too long as you can see so if you're watching for the first time what are you waiting for just to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always see you in my next tutorial bye